this is kaylee welcome back to my channel um make sure to subscribe if you don't already and like this video um if this helped you at all so i have my finished edit in here and like the title says i am going to be showing you how i finish off an edit so i pre-rendered this um it has nothing on it except for the basics it's a vma award because she announced her new album um October 21st she's releasing it for my birthday which I'm super excited about the first thing I do is I add an adjustment layer and I don't use RSMB I use CC Force Motion Blur which is a alternative to Real Smart Motion Blur that's what it's called um, and then I turn it to about 16 and I turn up the shutter angle to whatever I'm feeling I feel like this said it's pretty smooth already so I'm gonna do it to like 382 then I watch it back and usually the intro doesn't tell you very much so i'm just going to scroll to where the transitions start i think it needs a little bit more so i'm going to just add a little bit and then watch where the transitions start yeah this looks much better um and then i will scroll to a spot like at the correct value that my edit is the brightness and i will add another adjustment layer usually i pre-compose these two together um and i will go and i will click into my looks and i click edit and i look over here at all of my different colorings which i think i made a video showing you how to make colorings i don't know if i did or not no i'll have to go look but if i haven't i will okay um and then i'm gonna use you summed up for this which is one of my favorites right now um, click that and just kind of scroll across just to make sure it doesn't look stupid with the rest of the footage it looks fine okay looks great now I'm going to find my thumbnail uh, what how I do that is I find a point in my video I shift command D and then I just take one frame of it and I pre-compose that frame by itself I entitle it thumbnail or just something random so I know what it is I will click control or command I. I will put my thumbnail right here I will right click it and I will click freeze frame um, perfect just like that and then I'm gonna need a border for this so I'm thinking the border that I want to do is gonna be that shape rectangle border transparent border thing um, where I put like a little white rectangle outline and overlay and drop shadow it needs to be a little thicker than this oh not that thick it needs to be like this and then i think i'm going to add my wiggly preset which is literally just turbulence with that um with the random seed but i'm going to add the big turbulence instead i have a littler one anyway now that i've gotten my thumbnail and everything else i can pre-compose this entire thing and i can add my watermark um, which is I love Taylor's cats dot 13. This is when I usually screw up and put Kaylee's AEP, but I didn't today because I remembered. Um, I'm gonna make it a little bigger so you can see it. Click V. Voila. And then click overlay. And there is my watermark. Actually, I think it's too big now. Just kidding. We're gonna shrink. Oh, we're gonna shrink that down. Much better. It looks beautiful. And then I pre compose that. I add it to render queue, queue it in AME, open it up, and there we go. And my edit will render. And you'll be able to see this finished edit. Um, hopefully at the same time that this video gets posted. I'm not entirely sure. But I'm trying to use Creator Studio so I don't forget to post on my Taylor account. And yeah, so follow that if you don't already. And if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.